Welcome to week four of our Collective Culture series, where we're going through our first core value, Jesus First. All that we do overflows from our passionate pursuit to be with and glorify our God. Worship is our gift, prayer our connection, and the Bible our guide. Matthew 22, Jesus is asked the question, what is the most important thing we have to do? Right? This world tells us so many things that you have to this. It's essential to, you need to. If you're missing this, you're missing out. So what is the one most important thing we do? And Jesus actually says two things. We talked about this earlier. He says, real connection with God, real relationship with others. Love God, love people. But if you have to pick one, the number one, he says, the most important is to love God with all of your heart, all of your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. With everything that we have, we must love God. That's what Jesus first is all about. It's about having the connection with God, real connection. And that's what our spiritual health is about. And there's two real key types of connection. As we look at Jesus first, what is it? Two types. First is exclusive connection with Jesus. Exclusive connection is no one else is invited. It's the listen, I love you, but you are not welcome into my time with my creator. There is nothing else more important. I've got to spend time with him. It's got to be my number one most important priority in everything that I do. Psalm 27 says, One thing I ask, and this I shall seek, is to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I need to spend time exclusively with Him. This is reading your Bible, praying, worshiping, and we have to do something like that where everything else is zoned out. We're not doing anything else at this time. It's just us and Him. And we have to do this every day every single day. In fact, I like to model after, after Daniel who did this three times every single day because I go, man, I need him so bad. And halfway through the day, I start the day, halfway through, I'm still in need of him. And I'm like, oh man, I'm feeling Drew come back. Holy Spirit, fill me. End the day with some more connection with God. Whatever this may look like, it has to be. We have to choose Jesus first in our exclusive time with him. We have to choose it both first in chronology and in priority. Chronology is in time. The very first thing we do, take some exclusive time, just you and him. It can be one minute, five minutes. It doesn't have to be the longest time that you spend with him that day, but start your day with him. And then second is priority. The number one most important thing, the only thing I ask, only thing I seek is to be with you. So I have to give my best time I got to give the time that matters most. That is the time with him. So we have exclusive connection where everything gets pushed away. And then we have inclusive connection where we say, hey, we're going to step out into the world. I'm going to work. I got to run errands. I got to clean the house. I got to take care of the kids. I got to whatever it is that I got to do. And now I'm saying, Jesus, come with me. And I'm including him. It's kind of like he's shadowing me all day long and I'm listening and we're talking and I'm trying to figure out how he's asking me to respond here because the difference between him shadowing us is he's actually supposed to be in control. And so we say, yes, we invite you in, but we're listening for him to say where, when, what we say, where we go, and all of we have to be following him. It's inclusive connection in everything that we do. And, and so this is John 15, when Jesus talks about abiding in him. To abide in him means to remain, to stay with him. He says, abide in me and I will abide in you. Apart from me, you can do nothing nothing. He compares this like a branch connected to a vine or to a tree. And it's it's not like our connection with the Lord is not supposed to be something like a branch that gets connected to a tree and then goes off and does its thing all day long, all week long, and then comes back to church and gets that connection again, or gets back in the Bible at the end of the day. No, 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 no. The branch will die apart from it. We have to realize that apart from God, we can do nothing. We are so dependent on him. Everything else we do is a waste and we fail at everything if we don't get 
Jesus first writes. Everything else fails if we don't. We've got to stay connected, get that exclusive time, and then the inclusive time where we're not separating, we're saying, come, everything. With us, we are with you. Matthew 6, 33 says, seek first his kingdom, and everything else will be figured out. Everything else will be added to you. Jesus is described as the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Everything that we do, we have to start with Him. It starts with receiving from Him. And everything that we do expresses and goes back up. It's for His glory. It's for Him. Everything. If we don't get this right, stop here. None of the other values will matter. Nothing else works. We can't move on to anything until we get this one right.